Hello and welcome back to Great White North Corvette. There's been some pretty interesting police cars over the years. The Charger became pretty infamous in the car community. Today we're talking about a Z06, but not just any Z06, an OPP police car in Ontario, Canada, which just so happens to be where we're located, so we might just see this driving around. OPP stands for Ontario Provincial Police, and this does in fact look like a real police car. Some people were speculating if it was maybe just for an auto show or something, but it has the proper official decals and the numbers under corresponding to the area or department. So this is in fact a real police car, not just a YouTuber or something making a fake one. The next logical question is how did they even get a Z06? They are extremely hard to get right now and with some markups being insane. This led some people to ask, is this what our tax dollars are going towards? Which is a fair question to have, but I think it's more likely that someone donated the car or they've worked out some kind of deal. My guess is that the car is more of a promotional thing. Maybe take people for rides in it, take it in parades or special events. It's not confirmed exactly where this car was going, but you can make a bet it will be going to Toronto. There's some shots of it getting wrapped in the shop before the decals were put on, and then there's another shot at a different location with all the OPP stuff on. There has been cases like this before where a police department ends up in possession of a Corvette. A local police department in Florida ended up with this 2017 Z06 after it was seized from a suspect. The department said the vehicle would be used for community engagement purposes, so this is probably similar to what the OPP will do with this Z06. It's possible they seized the car from someone, but considering how new they are and hard to get, it's much more likely that someone donated it. I wonder who that generous person or persons was. I'm sure we'll find out more about this story in the next week, so if anything major happens, I'll make an update video talking about the details of the 670 horsepower mid-engine police car. What do you guys think of the Z06? It might be the first ever official C8 police car I've seen. If you guys are interested, we uploaded a video about the new Z06 style center exhaust for the C8 Stingray. And I see you've done some stuff over here on the motor as yes, well. Yes, I found the next brace again. I've been looking for one for quite a while. The GM's promised to bring one to the market. They haven't yet. Um, the vendors, for some reason, haven't got it to the market. There is another one on the market that's about $1,500. I found this one, believe it or not, from a company in uh, Illinois. And this one's about $300. And it's all carbon fiber. Yeah, I was going to say, it has a carbon fiber. Yeah, it's all too. carbon fiber. And it's actually quite a decent system. And it fits extremely well. And it's fully adjustable. And it doesn't look like it took much to put it on. Nope. Basically, as you can see here, the foot comes in, you get two. Two feet? You get, yeah, you get your two nuts here, and you get your bolt out there, and that's it, per side. You can have it on five minutes, nothing to it. Wow. So, and then I come And how much was that again? Well, $300. Well, $300. And then they just brought these on the market, and anybody who's been following the Z06 may have seen this striping package come out. Mm -hmm. This is made for the Z06 exclusively, so if you go on the C8 and look for this stripe, yeah. they don't offer for a regular Stingray. I'm kind of going, why not? It's basically the same car, except it's slightly not as wide. So what you have to do, you order for the Z06, it matches my hood stripe, and you have to trim off about three quarters of an inch because the wide body car, the fender is slightly wider, so the stripe's slightly longer. Right. So you just basically trim the bottom off and it fits perfectly. So when you bring the hood or the latch down for lack of terms, you'll see how it finishes oh, off. Oh yeah. So that's what you'll get. And again, when I ordered it up, it didn't even have it in stock. It was, uh, it was made to order, so I had to wait three weeks to get it because nobody asked for it yet. And you have one on each side. side. Yeah, each side has one. And of course, you know, you've seen my car before, so I do have the factory. That's right. So this will match the back of this plate that I've had on the car since I bought it. Yeah. But again, if you want the back straight, you have to order for Z06. They will not show it anywhere in the SKU for a C8. It's because it's a wide body sticker and you can modify it to fit the car. So that was the only way of getting it. Yeah, I ordered for Z06 and I saw it, I said, fantastic. But again, they don't show it from the stand right. You just gotta trim it, it fits. It's and of course, fun. this one's got a lot of extras on it. Um, oh bigger, yeah. Bigger front splitter than the standard. That's RSC tuning splitter. And the uh, ducktail on the back of my bumpers are RSC to me as well. I wasn't fond of the high Which is over ones. here. Yeah, the it's a little different. So this is the big ducktail that RSC tuning has. I only got a rag on so it doesn't go up against the wall if I haven't tapped it. So 
I really, I really love this red mist. And then the side skirts, of course, they're from Quentin Racy, so if you don't want the little wings on the side, they call them wingless yeah. side skirts. So you so can you get, got the... You can get a full length skirt without the wing from Quentin Racing. And then you have the... Then I have the extended side scoops as well. And there's a company out of uh, San Diego that makes those. And all you have to do is That's take... a lot the, bigger. There's three uh, bolts up in here. Yeah. And so you take the three bolts off, because the factory one stops right here. And then you have to get the 3M bonding tape off because it's bonded on with 3M tape. Pull it off, clean up the, the tape, bolt the new one on, away you go. Wow, you've done a lot to your car. Yeah, I'm, I'm having fun at it over the winter time. And of course I've changed the, the wheels. Those aren't factory rims. Oh yeah. So I've upgraded those as well. Those are stance rims. What are they called, stance? Stance, is the manufacturer from Germany. So. And I'm not finished with it yet. I'm toying with the idea of some performance mods and down there. So you the have a little decal down here as well. And then I also decided I want to keep the CNR theme running. So I decided I do a lot of my own stuff because I just enjoy doing it. So I ended up, uh, instead of paying $300, I got myself some uh, tape and stickers and made my own pieces. And that's the factory oh, yeah. silver. So I did the inserts over Rick, or did the overlay on here. Yeah. That looks nice. So, just kind of cleans it up. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not the best for taking pictures because you got a half covered up and I'm working in here, but. No. No, I just am great, grateful for this opportunity to but, but see a week what you're now, doing here. I'll, I'll, for a week from now, I'll call you back. We'll fit the rear end on the car. I'll have you over for that. Okay. And then once we get it fitted, we'll be able to fire it and then you'll be able to hear what it sounds like. Go to our channel if you want to watch the full video. Leave a like and subscribe for more CA content and news. See you next time.